one, we're for here, and we're gonna play a new game because we don't play games we already played. And I'm not alone, thankfully. I have the wonderful. Do you wanna say your own name? Yeah, uh, it's me again, uh, Adventure Game Fan 8. Uh, back to do another adventure game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because what else would we do, right? Maybe horror games, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so everyone who's been asking for that, yes. We're back. Uh, this is the Charnel House Trilogy, and it's gonna be all three games. Uh, apparently pretty short, so we're just gonna do all three as one, basically. Um, and, uh, yeah, we don't really know that much about the games, so uh, I guess we'll start with the top one, Inhale. Yep. So, it's another good evening to you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news, the blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old-fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous, Nervous Test, Test Pilot. Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Eh, uh, okay. Uh, I don't know, I guess we just click things? Yeah, just uh, examine everything you out. can. Yeah. The door to my you apartment. Know. Sure, I'm going to stand around staring at it all evening. The peephole doesn't even work. Yeah, sorry, what were you saying? I uh, mean, her coat, her phone. Like, there's gotta be a message on the phone, something oh, is, yeah, uh, yeah. seems to be <laughs> it is, um, yeah. blinking. It is. Yeah? Yeah, that's true. I don't really want to wear a coat indoors. Gavin's old coat. It's been here since. since. well, the night he left, I guess. My birthday. Classy guy. I do wish he'd come and pick the damn thing up, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was cruel. <laughs> yeah. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. Alright, there's something in the plant. My adorable little pot plant. Gavin used to call him Dave. I called him Gilbert. Gilbert it is. Nice. Okay. I actually can't tell if she is supposed to be have been the ra the person who talked on the radio in the beginning or not. Well, since I couldn't hear. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, that, <laughs> you, you, you can't. I, yeah, yeah. It can't make the... But uh, it could be that that's her job. I'm not sure. Sure, I could use a shower. Oh, okay. Oh, she literally just, like, as soon as the door closed, you heard the shower sound. Like, she just stepped into the shower with her clothes on and then just went out again. <laughs> Portal to an exciting other world. Or as the landlord calls it, the bathroom. <laughs> Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. Oh. Books, games, a couple of CDs. Very me. And an asthma inhaler, for some reason. No idea who left it here. Might have been Sophia. Hope she has another. Although since she hasn't been here for over a month, I guess she does. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, we can't walk to the other side. Alright. Yep. Uh, I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Oh no, okay. Park the other day when I saw oh no, never mind, it's not her. Animated conversation it wasn't her. With Herself, oh, okay. Random radio around, My trusty really portable radio. These days, it gets She's a lot of use. Well, now the radio's me, talking. I don't even know what you're saying. Get fired from the station and end up missing talking to you guys so Crap. much. Well, shit. It's locked. 
so I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. You gave one insecure DJ some okay, so features. we'll need something to unlock the cabinet. Yeah, my DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. Alright. Okay. Um... Yeah, phone, I guess. And don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The nurse just told me you'd been in. Should've let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. Okay. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. Well, I guess you kind of are by us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well that was the phone. Okay, table? Yeah. If I was drinking coffee or felt like reading, then maybe. But I don't, so no. My mom gave me this when I moved here. Gavin had to fix one of the legs a few months ago. Oh god, never mind. It houses a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, and an ashtray. What a life. Alright. Okay. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll need some item to yeah, use I it. I would have presumed she will try to reach it since she says that she can reach it, but apparently she's not yeah. even going to try. Okay. Ah, got oh. it. A oh, okay. I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Ugh. Back behind the radiator it goes. <laughs> okay. Strangers on a Train. Is that by Hitchcock? I don't know. Let me Google that. I have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. The snow might have stopped, but it's still utterly freezing. I'll pass, thanks. Yes. Um, yeah, th that's a Hitchcock's movie. Oh. It's, I watched it like last year, just uh, couldn't remember if that was the exact title. And it's, it's an awesome movie, a uh, crime drama mystery in a bit. Okay. Uh, awesome. I I'll definitely, I would definitely recommend it to anyone mm -hmm. <laughs> who likes right. uh, these horror movies. Even even though it's old, uh, it's it has a special vibe. It's yeah. uh, it's um, you know quite a u unique experience. Mm -hmm. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, no, no, <laughs> what no, you were doing? Yeah, a surprisingly beautiful view of the city. One of my favorite things about this apartment. It's dark out. Oh, we can do things. Oh, okay. Nah, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Okay. Can you look at it? Just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. Okay, then why do you need it if you can't read it? Um, Sam? Well, I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave. I think I'll leave it here for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. But <laughs> you want to put that in? Gavin won this for me in one of those claw machines. No idea how he did it. Some kind of wizardry. Yeah, I don't know why she would put it in the microwave, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, I wonder if we can turn this on. Um, uh, can you... Power on. Good yeah. idea. Alright. 
Let's read her emails. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I guess this is Gavin. Yep. Nope. Her not changing it. Let me have this one childish act of rebellion. <laughs> a photo of Gavin with his face scribbled out. Hey, a, a girl's entitled to the occasional petty, vindictive outburst, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a photo of me with my friends Sophia, Isaiah, and Carly. And that asshole's there, too. It was taken on my birthday a few months ago. Oh, the day he just left? Nice. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks. <laughs> uh, mouse, I right. guess? Right. Let's do this. I don't even know what we're doing. Oh. oh, look. Drama, as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever. I've always loved his writing. Very personable. Makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well. No time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Oh, okay. Of course. I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it. What did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere when I was drunk. Oh, yeah. It's probably this, I guess. <laughs> yeah? Ah, here it is, I think. Okay. Wait. Oh. Yeah. Can we... Nah. Wait, uh, wait, wait. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Wait, what? Can I... No? Nah. What? Okay. Oh. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Okay. I... Uh, okay. Can you use a keyboard? No? No, I, I don't think I can do... I can't even touch the keyboard. Uh... I don't know. I mean, I, I presume that's a riddle. Um... Yeah, but it's weird that we can't really go into the... I mean, really use the computer or get yeah, a chance to type anything or something like that. It's uh... a... <laughs> yeah, no, I guess okay. it's like... She'll do it on her own when we have the answer? Yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, time to read, Alex. Maybe you have to, like, look at one of the books. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea. Here we go. Let's do this, then. Um, okay. Mirror, sanctum, whatever this one says. Something about shore and love? The Charnel House. <laughs> I'm <thinking> yeah. <laughs> um, um. I guess we just click something random. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. Okay. I'm saving it for a special occasion. Oh, I think this is one of the other games. Oh, yeah. It's a third or something. I can't yeah. face the shame of seeing the due date. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. Right. Okay. I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book... Okay, it has to be the last book. one. Yeah. It could be this one. I should double check the title. It could be this oh. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Oh, Cassell. You are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. <laughs> Alright. The logic is real. No. <laughs> uh, can I... Oh. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. 
The next train isn't for two weeks. I can't wait that long. Okay. Oh, she's typing. Okay. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature. And even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? That's strange. Hmm. Oh. Thunder. Oh. Now it's so storming. Fun. This is gonna be fun, making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Okay. Looking outside, it seems I guess we have to open the cabin early, early New York. Rain, thunder, lightning. Oh, wait, we the yeah, sure. If you insist, stomach. I'll grab some food. Oh, it's a kitchen. Ah. 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 She's really big in the rooms. Like, <laughs> she's like three pickled <laughs> onions and a slice of bread. What a fucking fantastic dinner. Alex, do the shopping from time to time, yeah? <laughs> yeah, like she's really big. Those rooms must be really small. <laughs> <laughs> She doesn't want to get out, right? Yeah, no, I don't think I've so. I've got no desire to go no, out. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I don't he... really want no, okay. to. I thought maybe she okay. could. Okay. Yeah, um, I don't know if she can get the thing in the plant. Ah, oh. got it. Parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's Another see. one? So You Want to Give Up Smoking, a self-help book by I Burnett. Kind of wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. Okay. okay. She just keeps like hiding parcels. Okay. You should stop smoking. Okay. I just ha <laughs> I just want to hide <laughs> in my pot. I realize the the author was called Burnet as well. <laughs> what? Um. Well, I don't know. So uh, sure. Yeah, I'll go to bed at seven in the evening. That'd be suitably pathetic. Okay, never mind that. Hmm. I think nope. I can jimmy it open with something. Oh, wait, if I can she says something else. I think I can jimmy it open with something. If I can find something that'll fit. Okay, basically it was jam, not locked, that's what she said. If I was drinking cough, but I Hmm. Uh Sam? No. Oh, there's thunder in the background now sometimes. I've already hmm. read it. Twice. Because that's how exciting my life is. You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> okay. Sam, rescue us. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Aw, oh, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. No. <laughs> well, you just this heard was one like of a... my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. You just heard like a branch breaking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm not closing it again after yeah. all that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, but you wanted the DVD. Come on. You can look I'm at it, maybe? I'm not closing it again after all oh, that. Yeah. Uh... Right. Oh. Let's see what we have here. A photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. Okay. Hello? Gavin? 
Oh, Rob, hi. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. Alright. Oh. <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Hello? Yes? This is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Oh, oh, wait, inhaler. That was weird. Oh, hi, Rob. Hey, Alex. Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you all right? I'm fine. Thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God. Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be all right. I... I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah. Seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly... Honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep, begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Wait. I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob. I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. The siren sounds in the night. Blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. Looks like the storm didn't reach here. 
The snow is still falling. It's a clean, crisp night. Just past midnight. The train should be here any moment. Oh, okay. Okay. I, 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 don't, I don't know what happened there. What? Um. Why is she not wearing uh, some kind of jacket or a coat? <laughs> True. <laughs> she probably an icicle by now. Yeah. Weird. Um. Okay. Harold Lang. All right. Train tricks. I probably shouldn't start playing on the tracks. Okay, fine. Train tracks. They don't look very well maintained. I can't go off hmm. exploring forests right now. The train's coming. A forest. The trees are bare in the winter months. I've never been here before. I should explore when I'm back from Augur Peak. I used to love walking in the forest with Mom and... Yeah... Yeah, maybe I'll go walking in the forest when I'm back. Although I imagine there are plenty of forests on Augur Peak to explore. Okay, apparently she's going to Augur Peak, I guess. Yeah? Uh... Oh, what do we have? Crack dog model. Ticket. <laughs> purse. Lighter. Secret pack. Book. Uh, and... nothing else. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That's what we have. Um... My train tickets. The Charnel House Burial? I don't remember bringing this. Maybe. Well, you did. <laughs> yeah, well, somehow she did. Maybe the strange ghost woman put it in her bag. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's like, you need this book. You need this book. Cards, money, mace, the usual. Wait, you have a mace in your purse? <laughs> How big is your purse? Yeah. Dang. Aren't those things big? Trolley? Oh, uh, yeah. The porter can get it when the train pulls in. A pile of luggage, including mine. I just dumped it there because it seemed like the right thing to do. Okay, okay. can you talk to Howard? Uh, yeah. Harold? So, okay. Oh, hey. Uh... You been waiting long? I, uh. I'm not sure. I lost track of the time. Tell me about it. I nearly slept through tonight. There's a clock over there, though. It hasn't moved since I got here. Oh. Great. So, uh, where are you headed? A little port town. Last stop. <laughs> Me too. I'm not staying there, though. Catching the ferry to Augur, Augur Peak, Peak Island. Island. <laughs> yeah, me too. It's not a common destination, is it? What brings you to the island, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> it's dumb. You'll laugh. Hmm. I'm headed there to dig around in the dirt and check out broken pots. Trust me, I won't laugh. Okay, fine. It's a bit of a personal pilgrimage. Ah, I won't pry any further. But... You know the funny thing? What's that? It feels that way to me, too. Oh, okay. Train should be here soon. I think I can see it. It's going to be a long, boring journey. Fool that I am, I forgot to bring any recreational reading material. All I have to pour over are some historical texts. Thrilling. Hmm. Oh, we have a book. Yeah? You can have our book, I guess. Here. I guess... I guess I should let go of it. I won't need it after tomorrow. Just one final reminder of Gavin I can do without. Hey. Hey. You can take this. Oh, nope. I've already read it. Pulp Horror Fiction? Yeah... Sorry. No, not at all. <laughs> it's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> Mine too. This one's great. You ever heard of Cassell? I can't say I have. Oh, well, he... Looks like this is us. 
Whoa, did we dropped something. Wait. Stop. Two passengers. Well, this is my lucky day. It's freezing out here. You guys got on board old Gloria now. She's nice and warm. I'll come on and show you to your cabins momentarily. I'll just grab your luggage. Off you go now. No! You dropped oh. something. No! Let a me... ticket? I, I don't Would know. Would that be our ticket? <laughs> yeah! Oh, dang. Well, well. Oh. What's this oh. then? Who's our cute little doggy? <laughs> oh, we dropped the dog. We dropped I know Sam. just who like this. <laughs> Settle down, you. We're nearly ready. And if you start causing a scene now, I'll have to tell young Floyd what you've been up to. And we both know what'll happen then. Uh, what That's it. There's a good boy. You just be a good wee writer and wait, watch, and listen like you always do. It'll be over soon. And you'll be back home before you know it. The weird thing is that the sounds coming from the luggage was like... I thought it was a dog, but... Yeah, I guess it can't I be. I reckon so. Oh, never mind. He can talk. Uh, 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 yeah, oh no, he my. broke the neck of the bird, definitely. It's that crack. Oh my. <laughs> okay! Uh, I'm pretty sure that train was not complete. Okay, lock us. <laughs> what? Oh, all right. That was the entire first game, I guess. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's it for this episode, then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs>